Come on, Melo. You got to jump for that rebound. Get that. Thank you. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Ice cream. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Steve. Let me sit here and I'll tell you this right now. Remember how in the big, before the season even started, everyone, Max Gellum and Steven A would say, oh, and even Skip and Shannon, etc. cetera, saying, oh, Melo's probably not even going to average over 20 and this, this, and that. Are you kidding me? Just like I said, Carmelo Anthony is the number one option on this team. He's averaging the most points. He's getting the most shots. Come on. I'm trying to tell you, man. Pe people be slacking on Melo. It's really ridiculous sometimes. The amount of... Like disrespect this dude gets. Oh, pull that. That's that's that high school range right there. That's that high school. Uh oh. Oh my. I ain't bringing it out the freezer just yet. I was about to. I was about to bring it out the freezer. We gotta watch that again, though. We gotta watch that again. Look at that. Light work. Mm -hmm. Look at the goat. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy because I was reading the comments on the other video and people were really saying like they think that Mel, I mean they think Kevin Durant is the greatest scorer of all time. Like what? Don't even make sense. Give me that. I thought he was about to pull it. I mean in the sense of KD being unguardable, I'll give you that. And versatile, I'll give you that. But in terms of the skill set, it's there. But he doesn't have what Melo or Kobe had, you know. And even Michael Jordan doesn't have what Melo and Kobe had in terms of skill set. Because MJ didn't really have that three-point shot. It, it looked like he did because when they moved the three-point line back, his field goal percentage went up from three. But he really didn't have a great three-point shot. Oh, that's, that's wet. Dude never hits rim. It's always bottom of the net. Damn. Oh my. This this pick and roll between Russ and Steven Adams, lethal, man. I'm telling you, this thing is lethal. Excuse me. Where's Melo? Oh, he's on the bench. Oh, come on, Russ. That's a bad pass. I don't know why that's part of the highlight reel. Oh, you got a baby. Please eat him. Give me that. Ice cream. Y'all remember how I've been saying how terrible the refs have been? That's not a freaking foul. That's not a foul call. Okay? Melo gets hit in the head, and his headband flies off against the Atlanta Hawks. He don't get a foul call. And he still makes a shot, by the way, all the time. But everyone else, you do this to them. Or, or that. It's a foul. It's ridiculous. I see you, Raymond. Nice pass. Melo don't pass the ball. Haters. But yeah, back to the uh, Kevin Durant. Like, KD's a great scorer, and he's definitely a top five scorer of all time. But in terms of the best scorer, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'd understand if you said he was, but in terms of skill set, he's not even top two. In terms of skill set, it's Melo or Kobe. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, Melo or Kobe. I'd say top five scorers ever are, I'll probably, I'm going to make a separate video on this, but I'll say the top five scorers ever are probably MJ, it's not in any order, MJ, Melo, Kobe, KD, Bron Bron, Wilt, Kareem, you know, there's a whole bunch, man, T-Mac, I mean, come on. Come on, Melo, you got to jump for that rebound, get that, thank you. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Ice cream. I'm telling you, man. People be hating on, on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now. This team is lethal. But in terms of who's who's the greatest scorer of all time, I don't know, man. Yeah, it, could go, it really could go to anyone. Me, personally, I think it's Carmelo Anthony. I mean, look at this. Light work. But then again, when you, when you talk about MJ, the efficiency, the 30 points per game, how can you not say MJ's the greatest scorer ever? And then when you look at Kobe, the skill set, how can you not say Kobe's the greatest ever? And then you look at Melo, the skill set, how can you not say Melo's the greatest scorer ever? I mean, come on. And it's the same thing with Kevin Durant. How can you not say he is? Because 
he can do everything also. You know, I mean, when you get to this level and you talk about greatest scores ever, it's so hard. You know, it's like you can't even really come up with a real answer to that question. It's different if you're talking about the greatest players of all time. You know, obviously the greatest ever is Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> Let me stop, man. People, Steve just said Melo's the greatest ever. Come on. Even, even I don't believe that. Come on, let's be real for you. There's LeBron James, and then right after him is Michael Jordan. It's crazy, though, because we got Russ and Melo on the same team. And he got past his man and then oh, all the way. You know what I don't get about Robertson? Is he can hit the three, but the dude can't make a free throw. He airballs free throws. It, it, it don't make sense. And your best player on the team has only got five shots. You've got to find ways to get him the ball. Most of those were early on in the first yeah, That shot is weird looking, man. PG got a real weird looking shot. I'm not hating on the dude, but his, his jump shot sometimes is weird. It's like he leans into it. Really weird. It goes in though, that's all that matters, but it's weird. Look, look, look. Now nah, that looked that looked clean. That was clean. Uh oh. Smoothest jump shot in the world. Ice cream. That right there, we got a uh, what is it? That, that king cone with that chocolate and the nuts uh, yeah, let's not talk about nuts. But, you know what I'm saying? Ice cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smoothest jump shot in the league. And even Stephen A. Smith and Matt Kellerman said at the half-court set, Melo's the greatest scorer. Without question. And they said he's better than Kevin Durant. Either. But, yeah, that's, that's none of my bees. Anyway, I'll tell you this right now. They didn't even have to play the fourth quarter. They're going to be like the Golden State Warriors where... Melo, PG, and Russ aren't even going to have to play in the fourth quarter. But at the same time, you remember coming into the season, everyone saying, oh, Melo's not even going to average 20. He'll be lucky if he averages 18. He'll be the third option. But when you look at the statistics, they play better when Melo's on the floor. When Melo's off the floor, they start losing. Okay, And this is even with Russ and PG on the floor. <laughs> Let's be real. Paul George is averaging like 18. The usual, you know, like I was saying, even when he was the number one option, the dude only averaged 23 as his career high. Not knocking the dude, he's just not as great of a scorer as Carmelo Anthony. Especially in the clutch. I mean, you compare 0 and 15 to the greatest clutch player in modern history. I mean, let's be damn real for a second. You know what I mean? Come on. But anyway, they don't even have to play a fourth quarter. Yo, look at my eye, man. I, I've had it like this for the last few days. I don't know what the hell happened. I think I got bit by some kind of bug or something. Anyway. This team is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And as, as you can see, Melo's averaging the most points. Whatever. Whatever. Let me stop. I can't wait for the playoffs to start because we have the Pelicans. We have the Thunder. We have the Rockets when Chris Paul is healthy. When Kawhi comes back, we have the Spurs. We have the Warriors. We have Dame Dalo and CJ and the, and the Trailblazers. That's six teams right there in the West. Okay, we got the Timberwolves with Jimmy Buckets. We got we got Cat. We got Andrew Wiggins who's playing extremely well this year. Who else? That's seven. Let me think of another team in the Western Conference. I know I'm forgetting one. I don't think I am actually. Every other team is garbage, right? Yeah, every other team is garbage. And anyway, I'm probably forgetting a team. And people are like, "How can you forget my team?" Whatever. Hey, you look at the Eastern Conference. Let's look at all the great teams we have in the East. The Cleveland Cavaliers, we have the, uh, it's the only good team in the East. <laughs> we have the Toronto Raptors that go extinct. They literally follow their name and go extinct in the playoffs and disappear three years in a row. We have, and yeah, I'm talking about the Frozen and Fowry. We have the Boston Celtics. Who Gordon Hayward is injured and Kyrie's gonna do his thing, but this team, they're gonna get swept. We have. The New York Knicks. <laughs> the Eastern Conference is garbage compared to the West. I mean, really? Is this what we're doing now? It's like everyone's in the West. Anyway, it's been your man Steve, man. I'm out. Peace.